Welcome to the Endosphere podcast. Through our future episodes, you'll have the opportunity to discover our technology, our research, and our team. We will discuss various topics about Endosphere, but also about well-being. Make yourself comfortable and let yourself be carried away by this new episode. Enjoy listening. Ciao Enrico. Ciao. ciao Welcome ciao. to the second episode of this Endosphere series. How are you? A bit stressed, but fine. Let's say fine. fine. <laughs> Enrico, can you tell us a bit about your role at Endosphere? Yeah, sure. Um, to begin, I'd like to introduce myself. Oh, sure. Okay. Please do. So, my name is Enrico Fuschini, and I'm the technical support engineer. I've been working here for six years, more than six years. And my role, basically, is taking care about technical assistance of our clients and all distributors. I also played a um, key role um, setting up um, the technical assistance department in our new branch office in USA. Okay. Yeah, that was a great challenge for me. I can imagine. And my main responsibilities, let's say, is making sure to provide to all our operators okay. an high quality support. How did you end up working for Endospheres? I've always been passionate about innovative technologies, okay. especially for beauty industries. And when I heard about endospheres, I knew it, then I want to be part of it. And join them um, allowed to me to improve my skills. And together we created um, a strong support service. And that's, that's nice for me. I can imagine. It's a great challenge. Yeah. Um, what does a typical day look like for you? A typical day starts... Coffee in the morning. Oh, sure. <laughs> Coffee is important for me in the morning. But uh, start usually checking our emails and messages, uh, checking if there are any urgent needs by our international clients. Also, coordinate with all my team to provide the best support to, you know, all over the world. Is there like a typical challenge that you face daily regarding your clients? Uh, yeah, our big challenge, main challenge, let's say, is managing the timing zone, the different time zone. Oh, okay. okay, because you're like all over the world? Yeah, yeah, uh, East time, you know, American time or Middle East, we like all over the world. And yeah, let's say that's our big challenge. And that makes, that makes our job so dynamic and interesting. Customer service today is like a must and is super important for a company, especially when it's like worldwide today. Um, yeah. How does Endosphere ensure like a, a top-notch service? I can say that during these years, we've trained uh, all technicians was also nice to visit the world also too. And, you know, every one of them is trained, we can say perfectly, and they are capable to manage all problems or, you know, to support all customers all over the world. Let's say, no matter where they are, the important is making sure to provide the best support to make our job easily with, with no difficult. Can you give us like an example where you had like a significant uh, uh, help or improvement for a client when like he was facing a problem with the device? Oh, sure. Recently, professional operator needed an um, urgent training session, but is, it was located in Asia. And despite the different time, we manage it in a great, in a great way. And the... The training was a success and they, after the training, they felt like so confident, so, you know, Supported. able, yeah, able to manage all problems. And that was nice. Was How huge. did you do the training? Like video? Live training, live training. Live training. Yeah. How do you handle emergencies? Uh, do you have like a 24 hour phone? No, 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 no. Um, oh, as I said, we have a technician. In, any, in every branches, in every distributors we have. 
So they are able to support okay. all clients. What kind of feedback do you typically receive from clients about the uh, Undersphere devices? Okay, we are not perfect, I, I have to say that. But most of uh, clients' feedback is positive. Okay. And uh, especially for our quick response and fast solution, thanks also to our latest device that allows us to connect remotely. Okay. So even if we have a problem in America and I'm in Italy, I'm able to solve the problem. To connect to the device to directly. Remotely, yeah. Most okay. of the problems we can solve it in this way. And what does it mean? It means no waste of time and of course, no waste of money. Of course. Yeah. Can you talk about like recent updates or improvements in terms of like the, the development of the device? The, this, the, this well, one. the one I said, that I just said is one of the most important, technically speaking, of course. Yeah, because like before that, how would you do? You had to have someone yes. on site sure. to basically repair the thing. Yeah, that's why we trained all the technicians all over the all world. All right. Yeah. Well, that's a hell of a job. Yeah, I can <laughs> say that. <laughs> how many people are in your team? Oh, uh, you mean technicians yeah. or... Uh, like knowing the device like from head to toe. Okay, here we... I can say most of us, we are able to manage it. Everything. Okay. And one technician for each branch of distributors, we are more than 40 maybe. Okay. All right. I, I never counted them. I, no, you I never say did. That. Okay. Well, that's a lot of people though. What are the most common issues clients face with their um, devices? It's not related to um, extraordinary service. We, we separate ordinary with uh, extraordinary service. Most of, the, most of them is related to ordinary service. Okay. That's why there are scheduled maintenance, you know, so important to keep device performing as its best. All right. And yeah. Does it happen that sometimes problems come out of like a bad management of the device from the client? And if that happens, how do you tell the clients that <laughs> he's been like, you know, using it wrong or? Okay. Um, we have procedure, of course. And it's, ne in, it's never easy to talk with an angry customer. Yeah. Okay. That I know. Scary, angry customer. So you know that. But during this year, we managed how to, you know, you Use learn. the right words. Yeah, you, and you survive to the customer, we can okay. say. It's not easy to give assistance to scared and angry people. Yeah. How does Endosphere ensure that its customer support and maintenance service remain like consistent and always on, on top? Oh, yeah. We, um, of course, as I said, uh, we trained all of them. And we, during a year, we also make a couple of webinars to, yeah. you know, to share information. With all of them. Yeah, to share all, to share all feedback, good or bad feedback and all complaints so we used to work with feedbacks and improve our devices and our also uh, skills about managing what i said before the you know handle the client yeah did you imagine ending up like working with clients like b2b directly like that mm -hmm. when you started working for Undersphere's, or were you thinking about like remaining in the technical technological I mean, technological part, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were, were you imagining um, dealing with people as much as you do today? Because you're dealing with the clients, you're yeah. dealing with your team. Were you thinking about that when you started your when job? When I started. Yeah. I told you um, one of my, what can I say, my favorite job was handle technologies. Mm -hmm. But uh, I also love talking with people. Okay. So I mixed. Both of them. Our boss was happy to, you know, have someone love both sides. Exactly, know? because it's pretty rare to have someone like a bit of a geek loving technology. Yeah. I say that in a good sense, huh? yeah, 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 in a good way. Uh, but also loving talking to people and sharing like information with them. It's yeah. pretty rare to have both. Yeah, technicians are used to, you know, be uh, themselves. Yeah, in know, their lab. In, and, yeah, like, their lab and thing. managing little stuff. But uh, maybe I'm a strange technician, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. You're a gem. I hope they know <laughs> that. Do you have like a, 
Anything specific you'd like to develop for endospheres in the future? Do you have anything in mind to improve the, the device even more than it is already? Yeah, we already work on it, about it. Uh, you know, when we launch a new device, we already started with another one. Yeah. Because uh, it takes time, you know, to of develop course. everything. Yeah. Uh, about my figure, I can say, I would like to be like, I can say manager of assistants. Okay. Director of assistance, you know, yeah. make a uh, process, uh, you know, to let it easier. I see. Because I understand that it's not easy. It is not yeah, easy. It's not easy. Do you sometimes feel frustrated about anything regarding the device, like, or like your job in general, in terms of like, as yeah, you always want to be on top of everything and like clients 100% happy, does anything frustrate you anytime? Yeah, sometimes there are days that. So crazy days you cannot imagine. Uh, even me sometimes, like what happened today, you know. Yeah. So all problems, all same days. But mm, I can say I like handling. Like mm, someone called me Mr. Wolf, like Pulp Fiction, you know. <laughs> and I like that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but it's stressful, but yeah. I also enjoying it too. Did you expect to travel as much when you started working for Endospheres? Not so much, as it is. Are, are you enjoying it? Yeah, sure. It's a bit stressful sometimes because, you know, now that we open the new branches in, uh, in USA, in Miami, I used to travel all months, Yeah, you know, back and forth. That's no very easy, tiring. But yeah, it's nice, you know. I can it's, imagine. Yeah, it's amazing. There's worse place than Miami. It's nice to go to Miami. Oh, yeah, sure. I, even if I prefer New York. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Enrico. It was nice to have you here. Yeah, it was Thank nice you for all these information. Thank and you. I hope we'll have you uh, in another episode to talk about like maybe a new Let's device see. or anything new about okay. the, the machine. Thanks a lot. Thank you.